A very good afternoon. You're watching Lunchtime News on TV1. For the news first team, I'm Pasha Hetiarachi. Before we start off, let's take a look at your headlines. Former Central Bank Deputy Governor B. Somerset, three directors from Perpetual Treasuries Limited, and the chairman of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Jeffrey Aloysius, arrested by CID over CBSL bond scam. Prosecution and defense in Tisarthanaika's forged document case inform Colombo High Court. They are willing to arrive at an amicable settlement. MP Vimalvira wants to say Sri Lanka holds the topmost position of the list of 12 countries where black money is circulated. A pro-military political party in Thailand takes an unexpected lead in the country's first election since the army took power five years ago. Now in your lead story, former Central Bank Deputy Governor P. Samarasiri, three directors from Perpetual Treasuries Limited and the Chairman of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Jeffrey Aloysius, arrested by CID over CBSL bond scam. Police media spokesperson S.P. Rongalasekara said the arrests was made by the Criminal Investigations Department. The three PTL directors are Pushpamitra Gunavardhana, Chitra Ranjan Hulugalla and Muturaja Surendran. The CID is planning on further investigations. UPF MP Nama Rajapaksa participated at an event in Riki Lagas Khanda. UNP governed the country in Colombo using the funds of International Monetary Fund. They are trying to implement the decision taken at the World Bank in villages. They have not taken their political decisions nor created their economical principles by speaking to villagers. More than a million of the population suffer due to poverty. In order to hide the inability of the government, the activities that should be carried out by the central bank governor are now being carried out by the Minister of Finance. Then it is said they will reduce the budget deficit to 3.5% in 2020. How will this be reduced? There are only two ways. The deficit will decrease when the development is curtailed as the tax revenue increases and state expenses decrease. Then the IMF, World Bank and the Central Bank will be happy. So Ranil Vikram Singh and Mangala Samaravira will increase taxes in order to hear them saying very good. This government only has the option if they want to pass the budget, they have to give bribe to the ministers and MPs because they are not in a stable position. They didn't know. But Moving on, the situation that landslide that, that took place in the garbage dump in Guhagoda Kadagastota has worsened. The Guhagoda garbage dump is 70 meters tall. At present, the part of the landslide is in the west slope and is currently being cleared using a backhoe machines of the Kandy Municipal Council. Our correspondent said houses are situated as close as 10 meters from the area where the landslide occurred and the residents still are staying at the same places. The area residents said the authorities have turned a blind eye on the issues despite it was being informed to the authorities many times. News first inquire the situation from the senior lecturer of the Department of the Geology Faculty of Science and University of Peradeniya, Atula Sena Ratna. He said that biogas will be produced based on a bacteria activity when the solid matter is consisting of protein mixes with water at a suitable temperature. He added that lad slides take place when a gas tries to exit through low pressure area. Meanwhile, according to the police, two individuals died when a bus toppled down on a slope yesterday. The bus had been identified as a private bus that has been travelling on the Ragala Road in Walapane. The bus veered off the road in the Mahawa, Mahawangua and toppled down a slope. According to the police, the bus had rolled down 200 metres down the slope. 62 individuals, including the driver of the bus, were injured from the accident and they were admitted to the Walapane and Nora Elia hospitals. The police said one individual succumbed to his injuries at the Walapane hospital and another woman died at while receiving treatment at the Nurelia Hospital. 16 men, 33 women and 11 children suffered injuries from the accident. The bodies of the two individuals who died from the accident lies at respective hospitals and they were admitted. Further investigations regarding the accident are being carried out by the Walapana police. Now taking a look back at your local news, the National Freedom Front held a public gathering yesterday in Balangoda. The event was held under the patronage of the leader of the National Freedom Front, Vimal Veerwansha. 
the foreign exchange act was changed until that act is amended if someone is bringing foreign currency into the country and taking it to another country that happens under the supervision of the central bank but that power of the central bank was omitted when foreigners brought their currency into our country there is black money there is terrorist financing the european union blacklisted 12 countries recently 12 countries that circulate black money has been blacklisted and in that list sri lanka is the first country this is the honor that our country received the foreign exchange was decreased for this purpose we might read once further express these views the presidential election is on the way and do you know who will be contesting from our side who it is gota be rajapaksa he does not need a party identity he can obtain the votes on behalf of mahindra rajapaksa he can also obtain votes that are not for mahindra rajapaksa he was not a person in politics why is the whole country asking for him the whole country wants a direct person the people want a country where the talented people can work kappanta gela pena ta krani hada kappo raja vela The prosecution and defense in the case filed against former UNP General Secretary Thissa Athanayake for preparing forged documentation at the Colombo High Court have agreed to resolve the matter. Counsel appearing for the Prime Minister and the President named as the first and second witness informed court that they have no objections towards the agreement reached by the prosecution and the defense. The case will be called up again on the 4th of April. And that's a wrap up of lunchtime news for the news first team and Porsche Hetiarchi take care and good day